All right, so now we're going to do the queen. And the queen, this part right here is probably the toughest part. The rest is kind of similar to everything else that we've kind of done. So let's tackle this top front, this top part first. So let's create a cylinder. Create a cylinder here. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this a 16 division, just so that it's a little bit easier to work with. We'll do that. Going to... Actually, you know what? Let's give it a 20. Give it a 20 for now. And that <clears throat> I'm gonna bring this in. I'm keeping it at 20 just to kind of keep it consistent with everything else. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add another multi cut here. We're gonna add another multi cut here. What we're going to do is we're going to scale this in, kind of create this shape roughly. That shape roughly. That's roughly the shape, okay? So now, we kind of get this really cool kind of flaring effect that this has. For the x-ray mode. I kind of have this cool flaring effect. This is how, how we're going to do it. It actually took me some time to think about how I wanted to do this. So, it's definitely a challenge for sure. So we're just going to double click that so I get all of the faces. Extrude face. I'm going to move this on the X axis up like that. Or the, sorry, the Z axis. Move it out like that. And then, so now we kind of have like this flaring effect that's going on, right? Um, and then now what we're, what we're going to do is we're going to select every other edge. Skip that, go here, every other edge. And then we're going to scale that in. Actually, we're going to that in a little bit to kind of create that look. And then now we're going to kind of match what's going on here. So, right now, obviously, this is way too high. We're going to bring this down a little bit more. We're going to scale this out. A bit more. I'm gonna bring this up a bit. A little bit more. So it looks a little bit more in line with what we got. <clears throat> and there we kind of have it. We kind of have the shape here. Obviously, it's not. So we're going to smoothen this out by adding more reverts here. This bottom part needs to be a lot smoother. And we kind of have too much. Spare that out just a tad bit. I'm also going to bring, I feel like i got to bring these ones down a little bit just to kind of match with all these I snap the vert to that now we're going to smooth in this edge here soften that edge there to get that feel now we kind of have that Flared going on, and to even help the flaring even more, what we're going to do here is we're going to add this back, that's that. What we can do here is we can actually just bring this all the way up. Bring this up. Bring this out a bit. Get that shape. In in a bit. Out. There we go. And then we're going to select this edge here. Bring that in. Help create that shape. So there we go. So now we kind of have that shape going on. Delete the history. I'm gonna remove the image. You can kind of see if this looks decent. I feel like it needs to be flared out even more. 
Um, but let's just quickly. It needs to be a little bit more flared out. But I think for this demonstration, for this is pretty good because if you smoothen it <clears throat> and we use sub D's um, with some tweaks to some creases and stuff like that, this would probably look even nicer. But for low poly, this is probably what we're probably the best looking. But yeah, so we'll leave that there. So now we just got to finish up the rest of the shape. We have um, this here that we're going to select. I'm going to scale this out. I'm just going to bring this all the way down. Get rid of x-ray mode for now. Just make sure I snap all the way to the bottom here. Go back to x-ray mode. Start adding in some more loops. And then some loops here. Okay, so here, so now we get to kind of go back, make some other adjustments. Just, again, just using the scale tool. Scaling things. Adding some more loops. Down. Um, I'm trying to make the shape look a little bit nicer. Use in. Out. here give you that shape I like to flip overhaul here just kind of quickly match the shape a little bit better scale this in looks like there's like a little lip here help create that lip a little bit more Bring this up, fill it in, fill that in a tad bit. We'll go back to vertices, set this up here. I feel like this needs another edge loop, just kind of smoothing it out just a little bit. Sorry, wrong edge loop. Smoothing that out, and then one more right here, just to smoothen this that bit. Bring this in. Get this. This looks kind of not the greatest. I'm just gonna add another edge loop, smoothing that out. There you go. So now we have. History, these transformations, turn off reference image Go back here. I still feel like this needs to be flared out a lot more. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just, just feel like it's not enough. I'm going to flare this out just a tad bit more, kind of going rogue here a little bit, not using the reference. Bit more. And if I really want to we'll see what happens if I bevel this. I think that bevel actually doesn't doesn't look too bad. It does create a bunch of new polys though. Which I have to go back in and oops, sorry. To Soften those edges. Two edges, contain edges, soften edges. Uh, but it does create a bunch of five-sided polys. 
one, two, three, four, five. I'll have to go back in, kind of clean this up. Because this does kind of give it a nicer look. I go in, just cut these up so it's quads and triangles. I might have to do this for the bottom, the backs, the bottom side as well. Just felt like they needed a little bit more detail or to kind of sell the look a little bit more. Obviously this adds a little bit more of polys to the piece, but I mean, it is the queen, right? Only two of these on the board. Why not? Uh, so yeah, so now I gotta go back do the same thing here. Now, hold on. If I just turn on symmetry, topology, will that work? Can I do it on the side somewhere? No. Yeah, so there's no point of turning on so much. So symmetry is just turned off. There's no need for that then. That's not going to work. So, I'm going to do the same thing. Multi cut, making this five sided into. Quads and triangles. I'm just uh, clicking the verts and then I'm just uh, right clicking to confirm and to execute cut. And because I'm hitting the vertices uh, exactly, it's merging the vertices as well. Like it shouldn't have two floating vertices on top of each other. So I don't need to go and target well. They're merge vertices later on. Once I finish this, go here just to, for as proof, I'm just gonna select that there. One vert. Here we go, delete history. Now we have that nice little flaring over there. What we can do as well, we can bring this up, maybe kind of flare it a little bit more just to kind of accentuate that piece a little bit I guess that it's not how the piece actually looks like so it doesn't actually look that great when I do it what I can do here maybe select all of these bottom faces here just a little bit help get the silhouette a little bit more this maybe kind of Sweet. There we have it. There's the queen. Rename it queen zero one and done.